Welcome to my newest video. We are gradually working our way towards the shop right now. Actually at a pretty steady pace. And we're going to get to work on our second chisel plow because Dad. Dad has determined that we actually need it. So, I'm in the shop. I'm going to drop all my camera equipment right here. First things first, here it is. And all its Oh, come on. He put the points on the wrong way. Are you kidding me? Well, I'll have to take all those off. Well, these three. These three are going the wrong direction. How this is supposed to work is all these front row, well, those two are moved forwards because this one doesn't have discs on it. These ones all throw towards the center, and then all the back ones throw towards the right. That's how our second one was set up when we bought it. So, so first things first, let's get this heater cranking because I'm... It's a little chilly outside. Let's get to work. Okay guys, so as you can see, where I am standing was where the chisel plow was. We finished the chisel plow, pulled the 4960 in here and replaced the blower motor on it, on the air circulation thing for the cab and we checked some other things including the water pump and uh, the water pump because we keep having it it's got a problem where it keeps pushing the coolant out the overflow but we can't figure out why it's got a brand new radiator cap on it and some other stuff we've done to it so we did that and then when dad started it up I stood up on the fender and smelled the exhaust to see if it had uh, coolant in the exhaust, but it didn't so it's not a head gasket. So we don't know what it is at this point We're just gonna run and see if it'll hold it for now Sometimes like it ran all last fall without losing its coolant and then it started doing it again this spring So we're just gonna see what it does but I'm gonna sweep this floor up because there was a lot of dirt on the 4960 from hollow manure So let's get this swept up and get ready for something else to come in Nice. Now we got ourselves a nice clean floor to work on and the nice thing about this is if you drop a bolt or a nut or a washer most of the time you can't find it because the floor is dirty but when you got a clean floor it's a lot easier to spot those little things. Okay so now that we are done working on the 4960 and the chisel plow it's time to do the most important aspect of keeping a shop clean and that is take putting away all the tools that we used in this project. So there are more tools than what we used here, but I'm just going to put everything away. That's all trash, so just lay it there. Got to bring the skid loader in, but not when it's raining, and take this out to the burn pile, this garbage can, and then uh, we've got scrap that we got to dump in the grain truck. So anyway, this is the most important way part of keeping a shop clean, is taking all this apart, or putting it all away. This is the blower motor that we replaced, and it has, you can see... How much wobble that shaft has that should not be there the bearings on both ends were completely out so that means it goes in the scrap barrel there we go okay so the next thing we are bringing in is the 4440 we have a high or uh, oil leak on the line going up to the turbo right up there next to the turbo so we have a motor out back that came out of that tractor and we're bringing it in, putting it right over there in the corner that we just cleared out and we're gonna take the gasket off that we need off of that motor and then put the 4440 over here and put it on there. And I don't know, we may end up like rebuilding this motor over the summer just to have one spare or something, but yeah. Let's get the 44 in here and the engine. Dad went to go get the skid loader to bring the engine in. I'm just waiting for him to open the door up and then we'll grab the 44, actually the 44 is right outside, and we'll pull that in and get the hood off of that. The hood's a two-man job just on its own. They didn't make those too easy to 
put on and off, but we'll get that done and hopefully our plant and tractor will be ready to go. Hello guys, it is a beautiful day and we're going to be doing a bunch of work here in the garden before we do anything else. You can see the bed that we weeded. There is some stuff coming through again, so we're going to hit that all again and maybe hit that one. But we're going to be doing a major, major weeding, hoeing, and all of that session right now. So kick back and relax. It's going to be a really fast time lapse, and we're going to get all this stuff done before we do anything else. this bed the greens are still holding up pretty well and the potatoes are just poking out of the soil let me see if I can there's one there and uh, this side has more up than that side just right now and then the carrots it's kind of hard to tell but they are up it's very hard to see them on camera but uh, they're up it's still kind of hard to tell what's grass and what's carrots they still haven't gotten their shapey leaves yet but that's still a work in progress and then over here our direct seeded lettuce bed is they should be up tomorrow uh, I've seen a few that are kind of poking out but other than that not much over here hat, don't really see any potatoes yet no not a potato but the radishes I went through and hoed all the all of the down here because that's gonna get planted here shortly and then uh, I thinned the radishes just making sure they're about an inch and a half apart just so they don't grow together over here this lettuce looks like it established and it is growing now so we should get extra bonus lettuce over here and I think this asparagus is coming up down here I'm pretty sure so that's exciting because asparagus is super hard to get to come back for the second year once it's established it'll grow like crazy but that first year is really hard my spinach is still coming through I just harvested some the other day um, I'm gonna have to harvest some more in a couple days and then the lettuce over here is looking amazing ever since I hoed it or weeded it the other day it is big and lush and green and it's just getting this uniform head shape to it it looks amazing I cannot wait till this is ready for harvesting that's gonna be a lot of lettuce just in that bed and then I didn't weed the other bed because it still just doesn't have anything in it so uh now let's check on the perennials I haven't even looked over here yet today it's been warm for quite a few days so stuff should be jumping to life here let's see the goji berry first and we gotta do some extra mulching over here. I gotta bring some, I'll bring some cardboard this afternoon and kind of mulch around this stuff. But the goji berry, the stem is getting leaves on it. That's good. The uh, blueberries are budding, so that's excellent. Both of them are. And then the raspberries over here, they are growing up. And then the rhubarb looks like it is really taking off. You can see that rhubarb red stem coming up here so that's looking really good and then the tree is also budding as well so looking very good we've got all of that done before lunch so i'm gonna head home now and get some because i'm hungry and then we'll come back dad had to run up north to grab our corn planter units they are done being calibrated and fixed up and stuff like that and uh he's gonna bring them back hopefully we could be putting corn in the ground tomorrow, I think. So, yeah, we'll get the, I'm gonna go get lunch and then I gotta come back and work on the drill. The drill's in the shop right now and get, and we gotta go through and just do the yearly stuff on it. Bearings, bushings, all that sort of stuff. Lunch is over and now we're working on the digger. So we got a, this thing's basically ready to go. I just gotta bend a few shanks back forwards and then I uh, went through and checked all the wheel bearings all the wheel bearings are good and the one thing that I got refreshed on from last year is that this pin we lost it 
and that controls the up and down on this wing because it's a this is the hinging point so it allows the wing to flip up and then flip back down and then it twists but with no pin in there this shaft twists and this one doesn't so i found a pin i got a drill hole in the pin and then we got to run a bolt down through the bottom half of the bolt still in there from last year so i got to get that out and then we just got to straighten out some shanks i got the pin in the drill press now let me get some studio light bam so i gotta drill it i marked it with paint sprayed paint down in the hole and marked the general area so we're gonna drill it on this side since this thing has an end on it so let's get this drilled And there it is. Don't know how well you can see that hole. Not very well. I am not very good at drilling straight in the center of a pin. So, yeah. But uh, let's uh, put it on the wire wheel, get it cleaned up a little bit, and then wipe it off, get all those metal shavings off so I don't get that in my fingers. Beautiful. Okay guys, I'm showing you guys an example of how safe we actually are on this farm. This is a handheld grinder. I saw these zip ties from over there while I was working on this and I was really curious. Uncle Billy has this grinder zip tied to the hitch of the cr crumbler. Now gonna be a packer. And he must have been using it as a stationary grinder. <laughs> Very safe. Very safe. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today's the last day of this vlog, and we are finally getting back in the field. We are going to be doing some chisel plowing, except with the 4960. And our other chisel plow, this one doesn't have the discs in the front, so this one is more for the lower residue fields. This one is the exact same chisel plow as the other one, except we took the discs off many years ago because they were wore out and dad and uncle billy didn't feel like replacing them for some reason so they made it into just a chisel plow instead of with the discs and everything which is super annoying if you get into a high residue field because you're just constantly plugging up if you're wondering what i did yesterday i got the digger almost ready it's just got a one shovel it's got one bolt left and the thing is done uh, i was tightening up the bolt yesterday and the carriage bolt stripped out and the bolt head spun and cut myself up pretty good so dad is gonna go and get a bolt for that one and then come back hopefully and put that in and then that digger will be ready to go for monday or tuesday we're supposed to get rain again tomorrow and then after that we're good for two weeks so i'm gonna get this tractor checked over and we'll head down to the field Okay guys, so I went out many times trying to get to the pond done and the last time I went out where I was just going to be staying out all day uh, The hydraulic temperature light came on on the 4960 So I brought it back up and checked all the oil and everything and it's all running at the right temp So we think it's one of the five sensors that is controlling that light so we got to figure out which one and get it replaced probably just replace them all but so dad's got the fertilizer cart hooked on as you can see it's for the 4440 and that's got potash in it and so he's gonna spread it down at our house tonight I want to show you guys what we did over at the greenhouse there is the greenhouse we had this big piece of shade cloth sitting in the lean-to and this thing was getting super hot today so we put this shade cloth on tied it down to the greenhouse anchors and we're gonna put probably two more on the sides and a couple on the ends uh, eventually but it dropped the temperature in there dramatically so the rabbits aren't uh, hot anymore and and the farm store called 
they got the chicks in so there are 15 little chicks in the brooder in there and I'll probably show them to you guys on Monday okay. thank you guys for watching I don't know how many of you guys actually made it to the end of the video but thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time goodbye okay guys I had to turn the camera back on look at this look at that is a stalk of asparagus coming up there and there and where did I see one? There's one there. And Our asparagus came back, guys. We did it. We successfully established asparagus. Super exciting. Like, comment, subscribe.